I haven't tried to travel um, on the on an airplane with anything like this. And I've heard stories. I saw a, a, a teensy uh, device that was built into an Altoids tin online. Well, I'm trying to figure out if I can carry this on the airplane. And apparently, you know, they went through, somebody went through the screening with this little teensy in this Altoids box, and holy crap, you know, what's going on? And they called the bomb squad. <laughs> And I don't need that. And the bomb squad decided that, that they, couldn't, uh, they couldn't definitively say that it wasn't a bomb. <laughs> so what do they do? <laughs> they, yeah, yeah, right. they take it out to the parking lot and they blow it up. <laughs> and you see this picture of, of you know, little bits of Altoid pen all, all over the place. And, and I've got a feeling that I don't think a cavity search will be near as much fun as the TSA makes it out to be. So... Um, so anyway, I built another one and, and, and I shipped one uh, through the mail and brought the other one with me. I, didn't have, I really didn't have trouble with, with the one I brought, but this one might be a little more or less conspicuous. I'm not sure which, but it's just a hollowed out cell phone um, with the interface in the front, um, uh, cut out the circuit board with the Dremel tool and, and laid the TNC and the transmitter in the back. Um, I, I actually used the buttons. They were already there on the cell phone, so I soldered up to the buttons. Um, select the attack with the, with the top two buttons and transmit it with a, with a bottom one. Uh, the real James Bond <laughs> thing is that um, for some reason they've got a switch. See the one labeled power? And that's triggered by the antenna, <laughs> right? So I push the antenna in, it turns on, you pull it out, it goes off. I don't know. <laughs> I just thought it was cool. <laughs> And, you know, it looks like this on the front. But, you know, you could be walking around with, with a cell phone in your hand, and who's not? And, uh, you know, nobody's going to pay any attention to, pay any attention to, to what's going on. Yeah, this little, <laughs> this little red wire, uh, I've got a little clip on there. It's the safety. It keeps it from, <laughs> from being turned on. And there's another receiver. Uh, just encased in, in uh, Instamorph plastic. And if you haven't played with that, it's great stuff. It's kind of expensive. Um, you heat it up, I think, to about 140. Basically, you put it in hot water, and you can pull it out and mold it. And when you get done, it's very rigid, very, very useful. Um, but, you know, I'm looking around the house, and, and uh, I found this. <laughs> um, and you got to love Happy Meal toys because they have screws, right? <laughs> you unscrew it. Uh, and, and they just fit. The transmitter went in sideways and the Arduino went this way. And it was a little spring-loaded toy, right? It would roll across the floor. And so the, the USB plug <laughs> fit right out the back. Um. <laughs> uh, and like the guy said up here, you know, you write something like 8G on that and somebody will pick it up and plug it in for you, right? That's, <laughs> that's all you need. All right. Well, that's pretty much it. Sources are here where you can find the stuff and you can find it cheap and, you know, the schematics are, are in there. Um, if you want to find me, here I am. Uh, the latest stuff is, is on that site. Uh, if you want to ask me questions, you want to talk about training or whatever, uh, give me a yell. Uh, some shout outs to uh, Adrian Crenshaw who, uh, who did an earlier version, uh, Paul who built the Teensy, the Arduino folks who are doing lots of cool stuff with the Arduino. And uh, that's it for me. I've got a couple of t-shirts. Uh, when we go over to the room, what room are we going to? Oh, anyway, I think they're marked. So uh, thank you guys very much. I appreciate it. I hope you all enjoy your time at DEF CON. <laughs>